here it is, my base. No idea where that humming's coming from. Suppose I can go ahead and take that off. But yeah, I think uh, strings in general kind of go over my head. You gotta like, you have to do like, like, like all this, and then it's, uh, I guess I could be like the Joni Mitchell of A's, just do nothing but open tunings and not even use, not even use the fretboard at all.
God, can this thing be any tight? And I reckon this probably works the best if I'm actually standing up. Because it keeps sliding down my damn legs. That humming is getting annoying.
Uh, call it a good on that. Oh. Yeah, I gotta cry uncle on that. Like I said, it's a, it's a cheap base plus... Plus, I don't think I'm that that big of a string type player. Like I said, some guys like Les Claypool, and I'm sure lots of other instruments, I could just pick the thing up. And... You know, let's just keep doing that like it's nothing. Whereas, uh, you know, like I'm bagging rocks together, or something. I'll tell you what. that up. Switch over to my browser. Hope this doesn't cause my computer to restart. That issue is starting to come back recently. Changing that. Nope. Uh, in fact, you're going to be on a little. In fact, I'll probably be on a little while. But uh, I'm doing something totally different. Instead of uh, I'll probably play records later on. But uh, I just decided to go ahead and pull my bass out of the mop balls. Just pitting around on it. But like I said, I've I've never played a bass before, and I'm, from my limited experience with this, I'm not I'm not a string person. So. Let me know if this is too loud. a cheap $50 base, so it's probably not going to be the best sound quality, plus sometimes I hit a string a certain way and it makes a noise, it's just really unnerving.
<laughs> okay, but like I said, I've never played a bass before or pretty much any other instrument in my life, so it's just, I'm basically winging it. I'm not, I didn't come in here just expecting to be like Les Claypool or something or anything like that, so. And plus, I'm still trying to craft stuff too at the same time, so. Using the fretboard is like a foreign concept with me, especially considering I'm right handed, so. Right now, I'm just doing this. Or, or lack thereof, in my case. me any of those plus uh from what uh from all the other bases that i've seen i'm more of a slapper as well it is four strings four big strings it just it just to me it lends itself more to more to slapping style playing rather than just having one pick i mean you got a guitar with like six different strings Six different strings, so I can understand it. It makes more sense to use a pick, just ding, 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 you know, to get the, get the right string. I can't get enough of this. checked by mods um uh, let me uh let me look at that oh i have a i use a i have an auto mod on this
There we go. Yeah, I use an auto mod on chat. So if you say something that uh that the auto mod might find objectionable, it, it does that. So yeah, but if you if you got a message like that that's being that's being checked, let me know. Okay. Plus, uh, my uh, patient is wearing thin with his bass, too. Especially since the amp I'm using. It's got this buzzing noise coming from it, so it's starting to really get on my nerves. So I might switch to another instrument here. So it sounds like I have a wire issue with that. I twist the I twist the wire a little bit and it killed the hissing. Actually, I'll do this one later. Should be trip number four or five.
so let's just go ahead and make a bunch of those. Check and make sure my macros are right. And this time, I also got me a saxophone as well. But just like like just like my clarinet, only like one button really works. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it, other than the fact that uh this is another uh this one here I paid like a hundred bucks for. Yeah, a little too loud. to use this one at a distance. I'm pretty sure it's blowing your speakers out. But yeah, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, but uh, they're all... Um, on the downside, though, they're all cheap instruments. So... One of the reasons why uh, a lot of these don't work is just you get what you pay for. I got a drum set sitting in my closet too but uh think of it is uh way too loud for the apartment i'm living in i pulled out my snare drum just started hitting it it just reverberated throughout the entire apartment i even uh one suggestion was to put put some duct tape on top of the snare drum to kill some of the some of the sound it, it's a little help so back in the closet it went Same problem here as, uh, try these guys. Like, none of the button, like, none of the buttons on this work, so. Said, unless unless I'm doing something horribly wrong with these but uh, I'm just going with you get what you pay for Next, you'll pull out a kazoo. Don't have one of those, bud, but. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, and imagine you can't do much with a kazoo. I mean, what note? I mean, beep. But I will pull out, which I've done once already, my clarinet. This is another one I paid 50 bucks for, so... like the one instrument I have the easiest time with is also the most bulkiest, my bass. But yeah. Okay. And uh, when you do, I'll probably just switch back to vinyl again. 